Thanks for staying with us. It's still Ivan Daybreak and it's time to talk money. Now, the foreign exchange is the largest financial market in the world and the marketplace for trading all of the world's currencies. To educate us on the techniques and um, strategies in forex trading is the country director of CJC Markets Africa, Okungbini Dixon, who is here with us. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning to you. Thank you for joining us. Good morning, Ibrahim. madam. Good morning. Good, Good morning. morning. Now, I know that uh, it can be very technical when it comes to understanding mm -hmm. cryptocurrency, the digital you know, money-making uh, venture. But help us better understand in the easiest possible way to the layman out there, the different trading techniques in uh, cryptocurrency. Okay. Um, there are a lot of techniques people use these days to trade. Actually, the world is moving to online, as we all know. Uh, everything today online, we have online store, online market, mm -hmm. online shops, and even online church. Mm -hmm. And we have online marriages also. Of course. So today we have online money. So the crypto itself is online money, where people use crypto to buy and sell today. And Nigeria happened to be one of the largest in the crypto world today. Mm. I think number That's six. That's apart from the United States. Yes, number mm. six in the world. Mm. So that is big. And a lot of youth are really pouring into crypto. Uh, but still, we have some people out there who knows nothing about crypto, mm. actually. And um, to trade crypto, first is for you must learn. You must understand how this actually work. OK? So after learning, you understand it. Then you now get techniques on how you can actually trade the market. Um, talking about the techniques you ask, actually some people just buy and sell on okay. daily basis. Okay. Yeah, some people invest their money for a long time, so. okay, waiting for it to yield. So those ones, they need to be patient, okay? So these are the two major techniques used in the crypto world. Uh, so when talking about the different currencies, I know there are there's a Bitcoin, there's a Dogecoin, different kind of coin. Mm. We actually talked about this uh, last week. Yep. But to better understand which of these uh, you know, coins or which of these currencies is most viable, help us better understand that. Okay, the, the truth is people must know the difference between coin and token. There mm -hmm. is token, there is coin. The major coin is the Bitcoin. Mm. Then we have Bitcoin, we have the major coins, then we have the odd coins. Okay. The altcoins are actually alternative coins. Okay. So these coins, they, they move in line with Bitcoin. Mm. If the Bitcoin price is going up, you see the altcoins going, going up. If the Bitcoin price is coming down, the altcoins are all coming down. So And the movement, the changes or the difference in price is determined by people. Mm. Okay, The activities of people, buying, selling, this determines how the price will move. Mm -hmm. So people must understand this. So if you are going for the coins, then you know, okay, I'm going for the major coins, like Bitcoin is one of them. Uh, you, you mentioned Ethereum is mm. one of them. Um, we, we also have Tron, Dogecoin, these are the major coins. Okay. Then when you are coming to the altcoins, they are alternative coins. They are not like the Bitcoin, but alternative coins, which people can really buy. They are small, like small investment. Mm -hmm. Bitcoin is big now. Today, I think, today price is $30,000, mm. one Bitcoin. We have 21 million Bitcoin in the world. And today, the one price is 30,000. Ethereum is 1,800 or thereabout. Okay. The one per dollar. Then we have the other altcoins. You see, like one dollar per one. Some are even lesser than that, 50 cents or so. Mm -hmm. So when we move from coin, you go to token. Because okay. today, actually, what is really moving is token. Okay. This is where Nigerians should be focusing on. Because uh, you put a little money in token by one more time, two more time, it can be big money. Mm. And that is what brings this NFT you are hearing today, mm -hmm. non-fungible token. Okay. Okay. So um, let, let's, I mean, we'll still get back to this, but let's talk about Forex now. Okay. Um, what, what are the strategies, you know, in Forex trading in, in terms of um, being able to trade and you ensure that you do not get, you know, to be at the losing end in terms of losing your investment? Okay. Forex actually is the largest financial market in the world. Mm. It's the biggest market in the world. Mm -hmm. Every day we have turnover of $7.4 trillion. That is massive. No economy in the world has that. Mm. No nation in the world has that exchange every single day. It's only in the forex market. And it's because a lot of institutions, big banks, correspondent banks, and um, uh, individuals, big persons out there, they are trading in the forex market. Mm. And this forex market, if you're going to uh, trade in the market, you must learn. 
That's the first thing. You must have this right knowledge of how to buy and sell, mm. actually. Uh, some people say, what are you buying and selling in the Forex market? Mm. And when we say the Forex market, it's actually a big market. We have um, currencies. We have uh, metals like gold, mm. like silver, platinum be traded in the market. We have uh, cryptocurrency also mm -hmm. in, the in the market. We also have uh, shares of companies, like shares of international companies, like American company, uh, UK company, Hong Kong companies. All these shares are also traded in the market. So this makes the market very big. So it depends on you in the area you are very good at. Okay, if you love trading oil, then you can go to oil uh -huh. in the platform and trade oil and make money for yourself. So for people to participate in this market, you must learn. That's the first thing. Mm -hmm. okay. Because th if there is no lo knowledge, losses will come. come yeah. mm -hmm. That's the truth. If mm -hmm. there is no knowledge, it's just like somebody going to buy uh, and sell gold. Like me, a layman that knows nothing about mm. gold. And you expect me to go and buy gold. I may get to Kano or Sokoto to buy gold, or even travel to Dubai, and they will give me fake one mm. because I don't have the right knowledge. Mm -hmm. That's true. And I'll come back, and I'll lose my money. Mm. The same thing. So once you have the right knowledge, you are going to do well in the market. So let's talk about the recent scarcity of Forex okay. in Nigeria. Uh, especially due to the fact that a lot of uh, exchanges going on between politicians and delegates because of the primaries. How is that affecting the Forex market? Okay, the, we have the online market and we have the offline market. Okay. Okay, the offline market is the Forex we see today, the Aboki, mm. the Bank, the CBN. That's the offline market. But the online market is international. Do you understand? So what is going on in Nigeria doesn't really affect okay. the off, uh, online market okay. because that is international. We deal with the online market, okay. not the offline market. So what we do, our transactions are online. Mm. Everything goes on online. That is why the, a broker will be there that connects you to the international market. Okay. So like this one, you need uh, the offline market. You need the banks. You need a bookie yeah, before you change. get mm. before you get uh, uh, offline uh, forex. Mm. Do you understand? Mm. So that's so. Okay. okay no, sure, sure. So what are the things to look out for? I mean, the mistakes to look out for before venturing into this kind of trading, forex okay. trading. The mistake to look out for, number one, you must be sure you are not dealing with scam. Mm. Because when something, uh, people are accepting something, a lot of scam mm. come around. You, you understand? They want to build scam around it. So today, you've heard a lot about people investing their money into some schemes and the money is gone oh. after some time. They'll tell you the company is no longer there. Do you understand? And they will use the name Forex. Mm. Those are not mm. actually Forex company, mm. actually. So Forex company are those ones that connect traders to the international market. Do you need the physical uh, office for yes, that? Yes. Mo mo most of them, like 90% of them, have physical office in Nigeria. Mm. So okay. you need to know them. You need to do your own dil due diligence mm. research to know the actual Forex company. Then you deal with them. Mm. Okay, you, you talked about, you know, learning um, the ropes in okay. terms of trading Forex earlier. Um, is that where CJC Markets Africa comes in? Because, yes. Um, there are those who want to invest into Forex, but they're saying they do not have, you know, adequate um, lessons or tutorials to delve into it. Some, you know, go for online courses and it looks like they're not getting dividends for how much they paid in terms of getting that adequate knowledge. So um, can you, you know, are there physical, um, you know, establishments where people can actually learn the ropes of trading forex yeah sure um at cjc market we train clients okay. especially you don't know anything about forex and you're interested the, what you just need to do is to come to the office or even online okay. since we have everything online, online so we also provide online means whereby people far away can easily learn okay. so when you come we're going to take you from what is forex mm. basics mm -hmm. to advance okay. everything you need to know we show you so that you become an expert and you go out there also and affect other lives po uh, positively. positively okay so cjc market actually tries to see how they guide people teach them risk management, teach them all the integrity of the market, make okay. people to understand the dynamics in the market so that you will know when and how and what to buy and sell at a particular time. Okay, um, a follow-up question would be, for, for the average person, as we said, you know, a layman who is just trying to, you know, invest and delve into um, forex trading, um, what would be the relative cost of, you know, um, investing in this, like the minimum amount one can use to 
you know, trade. Okay. Uh, actually, uh, I, you, you always use the word invested. <laughs> okay. okay. It's not actually like investment. Uh -huh. You have your own account. It's your personal account you created. Then you put a capital there, something okay. you want to start up with. Right. You understand? Uh -huh. So you don't really need a big amount. That uh -huh. is why the broker is there. Uh -huh. For, before now, when the market was not uh, uh, open to the public, uh -huh. you need big amount actually to participate in the market. But with the uh, uh, coming of the broker, broker, the brokerage firm, mm -hmm. little amount is enough because the broker will provide a leverage for you to run in the market. Okay. So clients with as low as fifty dollars, hundred dollars, that's enough to start. You need to test the waters. Wow. Don't just go and bring all the money you have yeah, in you the have. world okay. and put it in the market. You must test the waters. Be very sure that what you have learned, because during the course of learning, mm. they will give you a demo account, mm. like a demonstrative okay. account that mm. you test with and see how profitable you are. Once you say, okay, I think I'm making some profit, okay. then you now test with life money. You know, life is different from them oh, <laughs> <laughs> because this is this time you are dealing with real money. Uh -huh. So you need to test with little amount of money maybe fifty dollars and see okay i know what i'm doing i'm very sure then you can increase your capital fifty dollars okay. is actually not little or if you look at it but let's that's talk about, about the tools. Thousand, exactly yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's not little Let, let's talk about the tools needed to start uh forex trading Okay, uh, tools needed to start forex trading. First, you need a, a mobile phone, like um, uh, our smartphones. You need a smartphone. If you don't have a smartphone, go and get one. But once you have a smartphone, uh, we will teach you how to turn that smartphone into money-making machine. Mm. So we call it like you are using that phone to make money for yourself. Mm. That is all you need, a smartphone connected to internet. Every other uh, tools like software needed will be given to you okay, by the brokerage firm. They'll give it to you, show you how to do it, show you how to go about it, and how to check your trade every now and then. And okay. one beautiful thing about this is, um, if you are into the Forex market, it doesn't stop you from doing other things. Okay. Mm -hmm. That is the truth. It doesn't stop you from doing other things. You can continue your day-to-day -day job, uh, your business, and so on. Why you still trade? How okay. long does the training take? It uh, depends. depends on you. But m normally, two weeks is okay. Mm. It's well, enough, yeah. Interesting. Two weeks okay. is enough. Um, uh, I wanted to ask for those watching, uh, would the training comes at a cost. Is that, what's the price? You know, uh, the uh, brokerage firm at CJC is free. Oh, The training is free. Free. So, so what comes free. to you? Because I know you're not into business to grow free services. Okay, <laughs> actually. But we, you know, uh, as a brokerage firm, um, uh, I don't know, but I don't want to talk much about CJC for now, okay? As a brokerage firm, uh, what we do, we, we see a way of educating the public, okay. then some of them becomes our client. Okay. So when you are trading through our platform in the international market, oh, yeah. you are going to be paying some little, okay. little commission. Okay. Uh, okay, just imagine we have hundreds of thousands of clients mm -hmm. paying 10, 10 cents. Okay. You can imagine what will be coming, coming in. In. So okay. that is where we get our Th money. That's fine. Just as we wrap up this conversation, um, I would like us to also talk about crypto just a bit. We did earlier, but, okay. you know, right now the world is agog with crypto. Um, you said earlier that um, tokens are the way to go for Nigerians to invest mm -hmm. because that's more profitable and it's on a small to medium scale. Yeah. You mentioned non-fungible tokens. What other tokens are there? Just bef as we wrap up the discussion. Okay. Um, when people are coming up with a project, mm -hmm they will come up uh, as a token first okay. before they mature into a coin. So at that early stage, if Nigerians are able to do research mm -hmm. and you quickly know the tokens that are coming up that are viable, not all of them are actually viable, then with your little investment, when that token becomes a coin, then it becomes a large a amount large of money. Amount. Yes, I don't know if I'm permitted to mention some amount of money on TV. <laughs> okay, a young guy that put in as low as $100 and it becomes thousands of dollars in no okay. distance time. So uh, Nigerians should like research and know the right token, token. to put in their money. Mm. Then in no distance time, it becomes a ah. big amount okay. of money. Thank you very much. Thank it's always much. good to talk money, especially <laughs> when you don't have to do so much to make it. <laughs> Thank, <laughs> Thank you. you so much, uh, Thank you. Uh, Director mm. CJC Markets Africa, Okungbeni Dixon. Dixon. Thank you for enlightening us Thank you. about Thank you cryptocurrency and as well as uh, Forex this morning.